What's up everybody, this is MJ Knight and I'm bringing you another video review. This time, we have a different type of a review. It is a little bit special because it's going to be in a two-part uh, style and uh, we have the brothers Loudrup. Uh, first up is going to be Michael. It shows their claim to fame. That's a cool little thing that you get when you buy a legend card. It shows their claim to fame and their uh, basically their stats throughout their career. Uh, some of these stats, um, I'm not going to lie, the finishing stat is like a, probably the most disappointing thing about this card. It says 71, um, and sometimes it shows, and sometimes he's absolutely clinical. So uh, that's perfect segue to talk about his shooting, because uh, overall I felt like his shooting was equal to his 73. I mean, he's not the greatest, although right now you're going to see some pretty cool finishes. Um uh, but even so, inside the box, his power on the shots are not necessarily, uh, you know, lassos or anything like that. They're just kind of P-rollers, if you will. No, uh, they're, they're still goals, but uh, at times he can still make some really sweet goals. But other times, like I mentioned, he will miss uh, and miss sometimes e some of the easier ones as well. So. I can say that his shooting uh, overall, you know, other aspects, the free kicks and the finesse shots are nice, but finishing uh, is inconsistent for me. But anyways, let's talk about his passing now. I mean, this is probably one of the highlights of the card, really. Uh, so it's 87, but it definitely feels higher than that. I would say it feels uh, up there with Iniesta, Xavi, uh, maybe Super Informed Silva, if you've tried that card, if you haven't. Riot. It's amazing. But anyways, his passing is great. Uh, it definitely feels better than 87. And he, uh, even though some of these goals, it looks like it's him scoring. It's actually his brother, Brian. Um, which, honestly, sometimes I can't fucking tell them apart. But, uh, you'll know that you'll know that it was Michael because he's got the captain's armband because he's a higher rated uh, player. But anyways, his passing is great. Crossing, short passing, long passing. He does it all well. 87 feels uh, a little bit underrated because he, it feels much higher in game. But anyways, let's talk about his pace now. Uh, another stat that I feel uh, is a little bit underrated. It says 85, but to me, it feels definitely higher than that. Not going to say that it feels into the 90s, but it definitely feels higher than 85. Uh, he makes those runs uh, quite well. Um, He's got 84 acceleration with 86 sprint speed, so he's not slow by any means, and he definitely feels faster than 85. It's more than likely the Legends uh, card boost that happens. You know, some Legends just get really, uh, really cool in-game boost, and that's more than likely what it is. But, uh, I mean, in reality, he was faster than that in real life, and his shooting was better than 73 in real life, so uh, whatever. Maybe EA will fix that the next year or sometime. Maybe never. Uh, but anyways, about his pace, I say it feels better. Uh, the next highlight of the card has to be his dribbling. I mean, this guy's known for having some of the craziest, you know, handles uh, in the in the history of the game. So I uh, definitely him and his brother actually are really great at dribbling. 89 feels honestly, it, 89 is good, but it feels higher than that. Uh, when they make runs into the box, when they bust their skills. Uh, you know, even if it's just like a, a quick scoop turn or a roulette, it, it just feels amazing. It just feels smoother than, I don't know, maybe than anybody else in, in the game. Uh, unless it's like a legend with high dribbling as well. But overall, I would say his dribbling is amazing and it's definitely very enjoyable. Uh, this is a clip right now. This is basically, we're going to talk about his physicality now. Uh, I know it says 64, but. Um, as you see here, he scored this ridiculous freaking goal, uh, which I think is me to believe that the physicality on both these cards is underrated. It's definitely got a better in-game boost. Uh, so that was it, really. I mean, there's only one negative thing. It's got to be the shooting, the finishing. But other than that, this card is freaking amazing. Picked it up for about 740 in the market crash. If you picked it up around the same price, you're lucky because he's going up, as you see here in this little... Uh, Part. But anyways, this is basically going to conclude the first part of these two-part review, review special. We're going to go on to Brian next.